Let's get down to this matter. Uh, we'll be going joining our Bojo Studios where Mr. George Rese, the MD of Fine Esther. Morning and thank you for joining us. Well, we understand some industrial action may just be looming in the aviation sector. Uh, that's because the unions don't agree with the goings on, the way the aviation ministry seems to be running affairs. What is going on? Tell those who don't understand. What is going on? Tell those who don't understand. Uh, sorry, say that again. What's the problem in the aviation sector? The unions disagree with the ministry over the remodeling exercise, automation. What's the problem this time? No. Um, the, the unions uh, have, have expressed uh, sentiments about, about automation. Uh, not about the remodeling exercise. And uh, automation is, uh, well, we, we don't understand the reasons why they have chosen to go the route that they've gone, because the uh, automation issue serves itself uh, very clearly to anyone who cares to listen. I, I say all the time to them that uh, we're probably the only airport authority in the entire world that is still not automated uh, in 2012. And if you want me to, to, if you allow me to take five minutes, I'll explain to you very clearly, and everyone who listens to me will understand exactly why we need to automate. Go ahead, make it brief, but not five minutes. Give us a background. What's the problem? Very well. I, I'll give you an example. In the airport uh, business, when, when you concession, people pay you rent and they pay you uh, a concession fee of for example, 5% of, uh, of their income. Now, all the while, until today, FAN has always collected from all its concessionaires whatever they declare they had sold. In the airport business, automation allows you to know exactly what everyone is selling because they sell through your system. So instead of them to tell you we made only 100,000, so here's 5%, we'll know exactly what they sold and we'll get our money. We're going to automate through uh, recovery meters so people buy electricity upfront from fan. Until today, all the people in the airports, we can recover our electricity costs from them, and our monthly bill is over 200 million naira. With automation, we'll begin to recover at least 150 million of that because a lot of it is for all the people who are tenants in the airports. Uh, the gates, every time you drive into an airport in Nigeria, we tier tickets for you. All that is going to go away. We're going to automate. We know exactly how many cars come and how much we need to get from all the cars that come rather than uh, worrying about whether we printed tickets uh, and some people use private tickets and, and, and fan tickets, etc. It, it's a no-brainer. It's, it's something that has to happen. Why do you think the unions disagree with the authorities on this one? I, I think it, it stems from, from uh, the unions... Uh, previous experience where uh, there's no doubt a, a lot of uh, strange things have happened uh, in the industry over the years. And so there, there has developed in their, in their uh, uh, sentiments a sense that it's difficult to, to trust uh, the judgments and the decisions of, of leadership. But the fact is this, this is a no-brainer. It's, it's clear uh, that we cannot continue to work without automating the airport is an automatic environment. If you don't do that, it's a big waste. So is it, is it, are you implying that the unions are not interested in moving forward in automating the airports? Well, that, that's a question we should, we should address to them. We, we have uh, certainly on, on the side of the agencies and the ministry, we have tried very hard uh, to make this very clear to, to them. Uh, and to the extent that they continue, some elements in the unions, not all of them, a, a few of them continue to insist that automation is not good for them. Uh, we've made it very clear, I've made it very clear in my environment, we are, we are going to automate FAN, whether anybody likes it or not, because it's the best thing to do for the organization and for the country. And, and uh, you know, we've explained and explained and explained, it's very clear what automation brings to the table for this organization. I can't understand why anybody continues to be against it.